Hello vlog fam. We're getting ready right now. We're about to go to a Chargers game. That is Los Angeles professional football game. So I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup. Go to MD. This is my sunscreen. So everybody freaked out because this woman on TikTok was like showing where she put sunscreen on her face every day, but not her neck. And like it showed the damage to her neck. So everybody's like, put sunscreen on your neck. And honestly, I was like, you know what? Points have been made. I actually do skip my neck sometimes. Not so much in skincare, but like as far as like sunscreen in the morning, definitely. So I'm just gonna do my quick little light gl uh, glam. Even though um, foundation has sunscreen in it, like this Valentina one, girl, I'm still adding my sunscreen because it's also like a good moisturizer. So I'm still, we're gonna double up on sunscreen. And then if you wanna put primer on top, that's fine. I'm using the Professional Light. This is one of my favorite primers. And I fit just right through here. You don't have to put primer all over your face, by the way, unless you, unless it has like those benefits and you want to, you don't have to. Look at my hair, we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna dice in my hair, like air wrap it, cause I haven't done that in a minute. Today is Tyler's brother's birthday. We're getting him a little gift. I spent yesterday getting my shit together. You guys, last week was so crazy cause it was our launch with Minimum. So there's like always a lot to do with that, obviously the photo shoot mainly, and then editing pictures. We mostly just edit lighting on the pictures and make sure they all look cohesive with lighting. And like, what what takes me the longest is like, we'll launch like 40 items and I'll go through like all, like thousands of pictures. Like I spend the entire night going through thousands of pictures and picking the best ones from the website. And that's something I'm slowly working on my team helping me with, which this year more than ever, I've gotten my team to like, grow and like help me with things they've never helped me with before. By the way, I'm using shade MA2. MA2 in this Valentino foundation is really pretty. Things are moving on long nicely and that has been like me finally delegating and like letting go and quit being a control freak. Cause I don't even love how things turn out whenever I'm a control freak. Like sometimes I like the way they turn out when other teams help me. And so I'm like, why am I such a control freak? Like I'm not even doing that great of a job all the time. Like we should get some more people in here. We should get some help, but it's scary to like, scary to relinquish control of your baby. So I guess that's it. So I'm not really into professional football, but I'm going to the Chargers game because they're they're fun. And like Tyler, his friend is like VP of marketing or something like that for the Chargers, like his golf buddy. It's like super high up with the charger. So always, he always got his tickets. I try not to glam on the weekends because I glam so much during the week, like full glam. Like obviously you guys know, like creating content, doing things. And like on the weekends, I kind of like want to give my face a break a little bit, just like a couple days off. We're glamming. I love glamming. You guys know I'm a glam girl, but not up in this vlog fam. Every time I'm vlogging, I'm like, don't have a glam on. This brush right here, it's the one. It's not out yet, but it's the one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I love YouTube. Probably because of the community I have here. Some of you guys have been with me since like I moved to LA and like lived in my little apartment in Riverside. Like some of you guys have been here with me that long. So it's like, I know you guys, you know, and you know me. It's been an interesting journey. And here we are, look at this hair. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'll be right back. Hello guys, my head's cut off, so bear with me. Hello guys, happy Monday. So I'm on my way right now to pick up Ty because he's at Range Rover. He had to drop off our car because we are officially getting our window fixed that I chipped like three months ago. And you're probably like, why are you just now getting that fixed, ma'am? Um, so get this gag, okay? It's adulting 101. Um, so Range Rover, whenever you get one, they're like, oh, do you want the, do you want the tire plan? Oop the tire plan and the window plan where it like protects you and if you have a boo-boo like you pay a little fee monthly and then they take care of it and we're like yes we do want that because we have boo-boos all the time like accidents happen right we're like good idea let's get it and then we get it and then they don't have appointments <laughs> they're like yeah um we're happy you have the tire plan but we don't have any appointments so 
that's kind of like the gag with them you know the goop and the gag they don't actually have any appointments like we asked for an appointment early July I think it was and it's October it's technically the last week of September that's when they had an appointment available that's how wild Range Rover is I'm like what's going on I'm on my way to pick him up because he dropped it and then I've got to it's only 8 ugh, looks like I'll get there at like 8 50 and then I gotta get home I have a call at 10 a.m. with Kenra um, I'm doing a sponsor I love working with them they're the hair care brand Kenra me and Aaron use all their stuff I have to do an education call at 10 a.m. on all their products that I'll be talking about on the Amazon live so they sponsor my Amazon lives and what's cool about that though is like I talk about the Kenra products that I want to talk about in the Amazon live but after that like while the lives going because the lives last an hour and a half I get to talk about whatever else I want like they don't care they're like whatever Amazon favorites you want to talk about with your audience that you're loving go for it but just in like a portion of it is with Kenra so it's a really cool opportunity I love working with Amazon they're really cool and I love working with Kenra I have a call with them and then after that today I'm gonna film um, I didn't have time last week to film one video last week was crazy I feel like I was chasing my tail all week and so this week I was like I didn't like film any content and whenever I don't film content I feel really guilty so I was like what the fuck like I've got to next week don't put any shit on the calendar like I want the week to be more dedicated for filming also as I told you so so I had an assistant for a long time and then that assistant like we trained her how to do everything and like like essentially run our brand so she's like super high up for Menom and Lori Los Angeles. She's like the coordinator of our brands now. I had another person reach out wanting to actually do assistant work and I, I'm back in a space where I do need that. Like I really need another personal assistant again to help me with the little things so I can accomplish doing the big things better. I can get someone to do all those little things then I can put my time and energy into the big projects with our brands and like I can do more, you know? I might talk to her today if I have time, do a call and talk to her about, you know, like an interview for that and like what that's gonna look like. So we'll see what happens, wish me luck. But that's kind of my ideas. But happy Monday, guys. My, at my house, it's hard because of the shadows. Um, yeah. Definitely. Dang, look at all these scissors. Rich. <laughs> okay. I just caught that in my camera. This is yeah. Jared from Benefit. Hello. This is Shelby from hey, Benefit. Guys. And they're here to do my brows today at home. Isn't this fabulous? What do you guys want to drink? Dr. Pepper, beer, wine, whiskey, a shot <laughs> Dr. of tequila? Dr. Pepper. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? Right? <laughs> Benefit just left and they laminated my brows. My hair is like all over the place because I slept in it like this, but. They laminated my brows and they look so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy they're doing brow laminations. So today on the agenda, I surprised Ty with a facial because I go get a facial from Kate Somerville. And every time I go, he's like, always gives me like a little bit of shit, but I know he's messing with me, but I know he secretly wants to get a facial because he used to go there sometimes, but he just doesn't anymore. So the last time I was there, I booked him one. And this morning I was like, by the way, you have a facial with Kate Somerville. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, or at the spa, not with actual Kate, but at the spa. So he went and did that. Benefit came and did my brows. They look so good. And uh, yeah, they do house calls like once a month. They come from San Francisco and pop into some influencers' houses and do the brow. So they do a fabulous job. How convenient. But anyways, I was just like cleaning up my house this morning because they came. And they also got me this as a birthday present. Dang! I was like, this is a very nice gift. Thank you, Benefit. Hi, hey, baby! You want second breakfast? Do you want second breakfast? It's not time! It's not time for lunch! Because he's getting a little plump. Because mommy feeds you all the time because you're so cute and you talked me into it. But look at this chunkin'. Look at these chunky thighs. He is getting so chunky. And then we had this pretty angel. I just love her. Look how cute they are, guys. They're so cute. You say your baby? Be sweet. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
He's trying to fight her. He's being mean. Don't be mean. Be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Happy. We're still on Wednesday. I just made my lunch. We have lettuce, a little bit of chicken left over from the other night. We grilled it. It's really yummy. Cucumber tomatoes. I didn't have my mixture of cheese, so I just went with what I had. And then I'm going to add some pine nuts. And this is the dressing. It's really good. Okay, I just filmed a TikTok, and I'm waiting on a package before I can film my YouTube video. I want to film my Kardashian closet video, but because maybe I did another order. I mean, it's been a long time. And I'm telling you guys, you blow up my DMs every time because they post on Instagram whenever they do like restocks on there and add stuff to the site. You guys are always like, Laura, we are waiting for another video. So because my makeup's done and I'm like already, you know, dedicating today as a film day. I'm like waiting on this package to arrive. It says it's going to arrive by 7 p.m. and I'm going to try to film with it. So to get some stuff done. I'm just tidying up around my house right now and picking up stuff while waiting on this package. All right, guys. It is officially... Wednesday night? I think it's Wednesday night. And I bought some pants from Abercrombie and they came in. So I wanna show you guys. I kinda wanna try them on. The lighting doesn't seem to be too bad. I never film this late at night, but. Anyways, these look cute. They're like these camo ones. And then I got these pinstripe pants. And I like that they're super wide legged. Really cute, hopefully they fit. And then I bought a pair of jeans for fall, so all these pants are quite different. But they're mid-rise, and every time I go in the store, all I see is high-rise, and so I just went online and I found these. I'll link everything, but these are also supposed to be like a mid-rise kind of baggy, and this is what I've been looking for, so hopefully it works out. Just in case you guys were wondering my size, 26 regular, and I got that in all three pair. So let's try them on. All right, I'm actually, so excited because this is exactly what I was looking for in some jeans. I wanted something that is mid-rise. So mid low rise is like really low, but I want it mid-rise. It'd be like right around the belly button area. They would fall and they fit really well. This corset tops from White Fox and this necklace is from Jacqueline Roxanne, by the way. Love that. So this is what they look like on and I could just pair these because they're a little baggy. So it'd be nice. I could pair them with a sneaker or a high up boot and they won't flood. So these are perfect. 26 regular, my flat booty. These I love, but they're a little bit tight in the waist. They're super high up and they're like, they touch the ground. So like if I wore a sneaker, let's try on a dad sneaker. I'm like not obsessed. Well, I guess they do hit the floor at like a good level. I just don't like whenever pants are like this with sneakers and this is what I'm imagining they're gonna end up being like on me. But that's me holding them up, so. You know, I suppose they're okay. They're a little tight in the waist. I'm a, are these not a 26? I must have ordered the wrong size, let's see. I went ahead and tried on the camo pants, so let's address this first. Adorable, I love these. These are what I was looking for. It's kind of cool because it has like a drawstring so you can tighten them around your waist. And you can also wear them way higher than what I'm wearing them if you wanted to, because you could tie this and tighten them. So you can adjust it how you want. But this is what I was looking for. And look how cute. These are a win for me. I even like them with this top kinda. I did end up ordering these in 26. And the thing is they feel a little bit tight. So I could be super bloated right now. I'm gonna try these on in the morning. And if they're still super tight, I might send them back. If you if you catch me wearing these, just know I was bloated. This was a productive try on haul. We got two out of three so far. All right, I'm about to call it a night and take a bath and read my book. Let me show you what book. You knew it. How'd you know? How? Did you know? Because I told you I was reading it earlier in another vlog. That's how you know. This one's really good. My sister told me another one by Colleen Hoover that she read that's even better than this, she said. I'll put it on the screen here. And I'm gonna deep dive into that next and I'll let you guys know, but I have to finish this. The thing is I have been keeping these drawers super organized and I've been really proud of myself, but you guys were like, get your liners. Oh, so I'm gonna, I haven't had time, but I'm gonna measure out these drawers. Not that one, that one doesn't really need a line, but like these do. So I'm gonna measure out the drawers and then figure out what size lining we need to go with. And I'm gonna get some. I also have been slacking and didn't order my containers for these. So, you know, I'm, 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 getting, I'm getting to it. I just forget to be honest, like I can't remember. I decided to bake cookies. These are not homemade cookies. These are the pre-cut ones and it's like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. 
This isn't my best idea. I gotta calm them down because they, like, whenever they finish, they're always a little. I got electrocute it vibes. They look good when I style them. Anyways, I'm about to cook these. It will be, these are from Amazon, these little trays. It's gonna be like literally nothing short of a miracle for me to not burn these. It's what I'm good at. I really love to forget about something and walk away and maybe it's burnt. So that's one of my special talents and I'm gonna try to actually execute getting these done and not burnt. So I'll keep you updated. Update, they're not burnt. I feel like some get a little toasted and then some just aren't cooked enough. So we have a good arrangement. We have variety. You know, if you want a little crispy cookie, you can come around this area. If you want to get salmonella poisoning, you can get up in here. I feel like this one's perfect. So I'm going to go for that one first. All right, so I'm sitting here eating my cookies. I'm home alone, by the way, tonight. I just set my own alarm off because I was trying to feed the skunk. Mama skunk was in my backyard, but... And I know I shouldn't feed her, and I don't. I don't feed her, but she was there, and I was like, let me just give her a little morsel. And so when I did it, I forgot I set the alarm, and I opened the door, and the alarm went off and went crazy, and she ran for her life. I scared me. I scared her. And then I had to call Ty to tell the alarm people were not getting... No one broke in. It was just me being stupid. I had to tell him I tried to feed the skunk, and he's not going to be too happy about that. I had to say, I'm sorry, I was like feeding the skunk, and I set the alarm off. So anyways, I'm sitting here. Don't judge how many cookies I have, okay? I couldn't control myself. And I'm watching Emma Chamberlain's home tour on Architect Digest. She's revealing her new home and I have been waiting for this. I'm such a huge Emma fan. I love her taste, I love her style. She's so much braver than me, but like if I had her guts, I would do, I would want, I would want my home to look similar to hers. And I'm sure many people feel that. Like I would not, be able to rip out a kitchen and have the guts to put the new one in and it be mint green because that's what color her kitchen is and it's like the most beautiful kitchen i have ever seen but i wouldn't have the guts to do it because i'd be so scared that i spent all that money creating a mint green kitchen and then end up hating it and like not liking it so you have to be brave you have to be really confident in your choices and i just don't feel like i'm there to do something that creative i think i need more time she's 21 and she knows Maybe that's why she's braver with it, because she's 21. Mm. Anyways, I'm going to finish watching this. Girl, what you doing? So we impromptu decided to go to Not Scary Farm. Not scary. It's not scary. Very impromptu. <laughs> and we're in this massive line of traffic to get in right now, but... Please, we're here. let us in. I feel like that's part of the experience is we're the... Here for well, this isn't fun. We're here for the junk food. Started the night off strong with a Dr. Pepper. From... Arby's. From Arby's. Fresh meats. I'm not supposed to have. We got the meats. <laughs> we have the meats. Oh my god, look at that rat dog. Dang it. Come back out. The rat dog. Oh. Oh, she moved it. Aaron. Rat dog. Rat dog. The rat dog's a rat and snack. Ride the scrambler with me so we can all through. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm making them ride the scrambler. Somehow I got the outside. We're about to squish him so hard. I'm about to get Aaron. I'm also scared. Like, I'm trying to do stories. Get a little B roll action. Get a little B roll of these clowns out here trying to. like to stop it's so pretty especially at sunset Somebody is 
Looks like somebody had a couple of beers down here. This is how LA people, this is what any valley, almost, almost any valley in LA, there's normally a little bit of trash going on. But the view, it's still fabulous. We're on this glorious walk. Me and Aaron both decided to wear Crocs. Great idea. Smart idea. And they haven't been hurting my feet. So I'm okay with that decision. It is Monday night. I think it's 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I don't know what time it is. But I just cooked three boxes of brownies. Don't underestimate box brownies, okay? They're delicious. I'm cutting them now because Tyler has a softball game tomorrow night, and after we film the podcast, I'm feeding the softball team, and I'm gonna feed them some delicious Raisin Cane's chicken. I literally don't, oh my god, these are so perfect. I literally don't have time to cook a full meal because I have to film the podcast. <gasps> Look at that. With a little bit of sea salt sprinkled on top. Are you kidding me? This end piece is my favorite. I love end pieces. I can't eat this right now because I'm about to go lay down. But I wanted to get these put away. I didn't want them to go still in the fridge. Oh my God, guys, these are so gooey. Yummy. They smell delicious. Like they smell like the perfect brownie. But anyways, I learned this thing on TikTok and it works really well because I tried it the last time I made brownies. And that was to put them in the fridge. So I cook them in these little silicone containers from Amazon and they just pop right out. Oops. And then um, I put them in the fridge to cool down. You're able to cut them into bite sizes really easily. Like they just pop right out after they cooled in the fridge and you can just cut them into the perfect squares without them falling apart. And so that's what I did and it's worked like a charm and I thought this would be perfect as like part of, part of me cooking for the guys. <laughs> I guess this is my cooking. Wow, perfect. I was really cautious on how I cooked these to make sure they didn't burn because baby, I will fuck some brownies up. I love to burn the dessert. We're not done. So I have two of these as well from Rubbermaid. And we're just gonna pop them out. Brownie loaf. Now these are gonna be thicker. <laughs> oh my God, did I cook these too long? <gasps> are these burnt? Nice and gooey, just how I like them. A little hard on the outside, but we're not gonna talk about that. I'm not gonna bring that up. Maybe I'll put these on the bottom, huh? So people don't break a tooth on my brownies. These are so thick, I should have made them thinner. I did not realize that these were so thick, but you know what, I feel like there's gonna be someone there that appreciates this thick ass brownie. Like look how. <laughs> the last tray. I will take you guys to the game with me and I'll let you experience. Ooh. Ooh, these look good. Okay, we're finished. I'm gonna wash all this stuff tomorrow. Look at that. I mean, this looks like a delectable divine tray. The, this would be my perfect piece if I got to pick one. I love the in pieces. I love the sea salt and I love the gooeyness and texture. So I'm probably gonna eat that one tomorrow before anyone else gets some. <laughs> Look how thick these are. Ooh, so yummy. All right, now I have to put these away so they wouldn't go stale. We are headed to film the podcast. Ooh, ben, a little vlogging today? I need you to order us lunch. Oh yeah, let me do that. Look at this. I got the goods right here. I was vlogging me this last night. the most them. important part 
really is. Laura's brownies smack, y'all. They really do, guys. The they box smack. brownies. I was like, don't, don't, don't judge the box brownies because they smack. We're headed to the office. Ty's gonna order us lunch. Off to the office to do part one of today. Yeah. Then after that, we're gonna head to pick up the food, and then we're gonna go to the softball game, guys. <laughs> Hello, all. We're in the official podcast space. Manny is filling out. I'm vlogging. I'm gonna vlog the it. game. And I'm glad time. that you're vlogging. Yeah. So, I'm gonna be a vlogger. Manny is gonna be a vlogger. Maybe one day. One day. One day. There's Ty okay. in his room. Manny's writing down notes. We're gonna film our second episode. We already filmed one episode and we're on to episode number two. And then after that, what time is it? It's only so 3 30, so we're doing great on time. You wrote Peek and Pit and I did that. It's not that off. No, it's great. Ty, what should we do about the car situation? Um, so, okay, we'll figure right, out. What do you want to do? You, you just want to ride with Manny? Yeah, I can. Here's my outfit. So, I have on a skirt. I have on Tyler's Harley Davidson t shirt that we got out of the vintage box. I don't know if you guys remember that. And then I have on this little leather shirt from Maritzia and some chunky fall boots. And this is my fit for the second episode. And then this is the space that I'm going to be redoing. So we got a really cool podcast sign that Tyler has ordered or is ordering. Process. And then I'm going to get either a couch or I'm going to get some cool chairs. Don't know which one it's going to be yet. I'm about to go to an antique store and try to find some vintage ones for up here. And then I already ordered this coffee table off Etsy, which I think will look really good in here. We're in our Whittle studio. So I will see you guys tonight at the... The fried chicken is activated. <laughs> we got the sodies. Fried chicken brings... It's a community. It's a building. When, when fried chicken's evolved, you can smell it a mile away. The team seat. I forgot plates, guys, so I'll show you guys what they're eating. Yeah, <laughs> Look at everyone here. Do this. Laura. Laura. Food was a success. Thank you. I mean, Good it was job. just breakfast. Of course. Have some. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Have fun at the Oh, wait, I'll see you on Tuesday. Oh. Say something. I'll be here Tuesday. Okay, cool. No! Say go to Bacabras. <laughs> so me and Manny figured out the success to a fast food restaurant. We get it. The, the, the fast food restaurants that we like notice. Notice that, that like, yeah, have like lines, like craziest lines. In and out, for example. What the fuck is Tyler doing? I don't know, this is the turn. Boy, hold oh, back. Is that, oh, is that not Tyler? That is him. Then what the hell was that one? Another Porsche? That was um, Sierra. Oh. And Jonathan, they live right there. Got and that it. was their Porsche. Got Thank it. Thank you for holding that. I'm trying to hold this over. We're almost there. Oh, something's rolling around. All right, we That's got the it. That's the There you go. Let me roll this up, yeah. All right, here. Okay, so we figured out the key to a fast food, a good fast food restaurant and why the line, because we noticed like certain fast food restaurants and not a lot of them have like the most intense drive through lines. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing and all those restaurants have in common. You want to hit them with it, Manny? I do. Sorry, I couldn't see. I got freaked <laughs> out. It is a limited menu. Boom. If you're fucking amazing at one thing, for example, in and out there's three combos. That's all you get. That's all you get. That's all. all, all those are the only you options. You cannot blown go out in there every ordering time. grilled cheese, no. chicken tenders. You can, but you can. So baby, you get what you get. You get what you get. You get your thing combos. Raising Cane's. It's a box of chicken tenders and fries and bread. There's fries nothing bread. else the for you there. You can you can mix that up as many Chick ways. Chick Fil A. Chick it's all chicken. It's chicken. You're not getting a burger. You're not getting. You're not getting. No. <laughs> Those three places have that in common, and you can't even get in the drive-through line because they're so, so popping. Packed. So, so we're on something. So we feel like if you want to have a really successful fast food restaurant, don't be the jack of all trades. Be the master of one. A few. Yes. Be the master of a couple things. Three combos, four combos don't max. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy, and then just really perfect those, and you will be that girl. Because those three restaurants, especially in LA, and I know Chick Fil A in the South is like okay. that. Chick Fil A, <laughs> Chick Fil A here is like pretty wrapped up, but I'm just yeah. saying, like In and Out and Raising Cane's is like security lines uh -huh. are like working the specifically drivers. Raising. Wow. Yeah. Um, so we just feel like we've really cracked the code on a successful 
and we needed to share that with you. I think. And we wanted to share it before the vlog ended because we were really having, we were on a tangent right now. We are. And we felt it internally. Oh, the crumble cookies. Oh! That's cookies. That's another one. It's, you ain't gonna find like brownies there. You're not getting cakes You're not getting brownies. cakes. You're not getting cupcakes. You get You're getting a cookie. And that's it. And, and that's then what you're gonna get. They, they stay like blowed the F out. Mm-hmm. Sprinkles, so. sprinkle cookies, same thing. You're not getting a cake. You're guys. getting sprinkles. You're getting cupcakes with a couple different toppings, but it's gonna be a cupcake. Once you're a master of one thing, use that you and run with and it. And run with it. Oh. The fools are here. The fools the are fools here. The fools are here. And we're fully fantasizing right now. We are. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had some fast food talks. We just I'm ate. I literally feel like lethargic. Oh fun, my dude. god, me too. I feel like one big baked potato. Oh my god, Manny, we overdid it. Mm -hmm. I'm a potato. The brownies were a hit. Huge hit. Everyone loved them. Everyone loved them. They were so. Laura, I, I had four brownies. Good. That's why I made that many. And See, this is why I'm, I'm bursting. Why don't currently? you take a couple for your brother, too? <gasps> That's all Because there's so many left. I'll take some for my mom and my brother. Yeah, they would love that. I'm gonna take some, other, I'm gonna take some for them. Um, we'll, we'll divvy some stuff up so they can have some morsels. Some morsels, yes. And you might want like a little midnight snack. With you some milk. Um, with some milk. Oh. He needs some milk. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> the car starts How do we? <laughs>